good afternoon sir uh, as you may know my name is manisha reddy i am mm. from jharkhand but i born and brought up in uh, uh, andhra telangana near visakhapatnam and mm. uh, if i am talking my uh, uh, means uh, education then i am doing now uh, i am pursuing my my educa- uh, graduation in electrical and electronics in odisha and uh, my means uh, if i am talking my hobbies my hobbies are playing badminton uh, reading books uh, sketching uh, wall painting and exploring new things that's it sir okay so what did you uh, did you explore anything new um, yes last month yesterday did you explore anything that you badminton. would like to share with me yes yes badminton What do you mean badminton? You explore badminton or you played badminton? I love to play the badminton. Okay, exploring a new thing. What does it mean? This point. Exploring I want exploring to- new thing means, sir. Um, what I ha- I have like a what I have experienced to connect connecting a new people and what I gain from there. That's mm-hmm. uh, that's uh, that is a exploring like a. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I that's can nice. say it's. A, that is yeah. that is i can say it's a gain like a whatever i am like a whatever now i am talking i'm something taking from you like a good thing it's a positive mm-hmm. vibe and something i'm taking to uh, from you a good knowledge mm-hmm. that is nice. exploring things wow excellent that's what i want to listen from you that's great excellent excellent so how did you get my skype my whatsapp how did you like i want to know I'm excited. Yes, yes. I uh, used to watch your videos, like uh, your, like I uh, mentions also, like uh, your WhatsApp and Skype number. If you, um, if you want to connect with me, then mm-hmm. you uh, do. Uh, Means uh, you text a message on WhatsApp or uh, Skype. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, learning in English, it's your hobby or it's a passion or it's your need. You want. Uh. <coughs> No, uh, I. I mean, uh, now I am considering it is uh, my passion because I mean, so I were facing a lot of problems because I didn't uh, speak very well in English, and mm. nowadays is very important or it is a very significant role in everywhere. If you are working professional or if, uh, either you are a student or you are a homemaker. Mm-hmm. it's everywhere it's a uh, uh, means a necessary and all all over the country uh, it is like uh, english is a language as a, as a language we are like a um, we uh, like a, i i mean so uh, um, i i want to talk uh, in uh, english language and i want to become like i want to become improve enhance my fluency or i can say so um, command on english okay so you want to enhance your command over english yes okay so you are from northern india and what are you doing in jharkhand if you don't mind uh no no um, definitely actually uh, in jharkhand uh, my father is doing a government job that's why we transferred um, um, since 1998 because we our grandfather uh, grandfather and grandmother also are uh, they were living here also in sir uh, Okay, they had okay. been living yes uh, absolutely absolutely they had been living uh, in jharkhand yes yes uh, and after that your father your father also my father uh, got your, job in yeah. the government sector and yeah. they are like a posted here in a jharkhand it like i think your grandfather's job your father no 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 it's not like that no no i see so which in which department your father works like electronic department electrician department in a government uh, sector electric uh, electric electric uh, ele- uh, electrical engineering like that i see absolutely and who suggest you to do this course like electrical engineering you chose Actually, by your or someone in my in- niece yes yes my niece he like a, he was pursuing a graduation in a b um, b tech Mm-hmm. um in a computer science computer science engineering and 
i like uh, they suge- suggested to me like uh, you do uh, you go um, if you want to go this field then it's uh, like a, a, you can make a good career in this field because i didn't uh, aware from that uh, what is engineering what we, uh, what we have I means uh, uh, how we can go uh, become a engineering or how we can become a uh, means a need qualifier nowadays is very like uh, it's very crazy but that time i don't know in a 2018 and 2019 i think so. mm-hmm. i see okay so you are in the last year you are in the last year yes, like, yes. look what i have what i have noticed one thing that majority of the engineers after completing their btech they are entering into the it field majority of the people will you do so will you do so no sir now i recently i don't have interest because i were a lot uh, i were uh, watching a lot of uh, friends like they yeah. uh, they um, they are working in uh, it sectors and uh, yeah. they are doing uh, they are doing a great job in it sectors and they are um, they are getting a high salary in the uh, means every month but it is a, i think it's the my personally opi- uh, opinion it's a pressure they are like a it's a pressure and some kind of the pressures they are um, the companies uh, they are giving a high I means a, a more a more, more salary but it is a high pressure if you consider it's a very high pressure and uh, if you can like a um, uh, if you can uh, um, uh, go to that field then if you have interested uh, if if you don't have interested please don't go if i mean sir in my opinion i suggest like because so i don't interest because you do not have interest you do not yes, have yes yes it yes, yes. Yeah. it field i don't have interest core field i would i would uh, really i would like to go core field core field okay okay what is the uh, you know possibilities what type of job you could get after completing your btech or your engineering degree what are the sources or what are the field you may enter you you could go may i know uh yes uh, there are different fields i can uh, like uh, i can go through the uh, uh, go through the uh, after come like a uh, campus selections because okay. um, i didn't mention uh, didn't mention i already I mean sir i already did a diploma and i mm. got selected and i i have been do, i mean so i had been doing in uh, doing uh, work in a bangalore and i had a near four year experience in a core field mm. then i have to do a higher degree I means i have to pursue my higher degree that's why mm. i am choosing this like uh, okay I, now i have to do and okay so you have already you have done already a diploma and you have already worked in a company which yes, is yes. in a bangalore and now you wanted to study further and now you are studying btech in electrical yes. after yes, that yes. did you study ma like ma uh, in a sense master yes 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 master master yeah. mtech or mba i can say your like ha yes yeah. definitely uh in nowadays i can say it's a btech uh, graduation is not important they are asking a more high high um, high qualifications like mtech mba and mm-hmm. uh, yes of course i would like to do but now not sir over uh, two years i have to take uh, like a uh, distance i mean so i have to take uh, re- i mean sir are you studying distance or regular no no actually i am doing a, a regular course only okay i see i see and what is the timing what is the timing of the college what time do morning, you do morning 7:30 to like 1:30 uh, it is very nice fantastic timing fantastic that's great after that you know you can you can work you can study you can do whatever you want and this is the best timing i would say morning college it's very good this is yes, very yes. nice absolutely <laughs> i too pursuing a college i am also a student i'm a college student but my timing is afternoon time okay yeah we have to indulge the you know entire day in the college but anyway then madam reddy how may i help you come on tell me i am here to help you what can i do for you do you have something 
to discuss with me do you have something to reveal front of me regarding english regarding grammar yes sir. actually i i want to ask you like a how like a um, how become a good fluency or i can say it's a, a good command on english how to pardon me please pardon me i beg your pardon uh how we like uh, how uh, how we become a good command on english or okay. fluency okay okay well practice and uh, read practicing reading watching will help you enhance your command over english help the people listen to them talk to them whatever you are doing this you are on a right track keep on doing this thing you will get the result and i can see that you can speak you are speaking very good english you are very good at english and if you will continue like this but talking only will not help you to enhance your knowledge along with the talking you will have to read too because reading will give you the knowledge you know different different type of knowledge once you will read you will get the idea how to discourse how to converse when you meet with the people how to stretch the conversation how to ask different different type of question and if you will read you will get the idea that you could use the different different type of words vocabularies grammars you will get lots of idea so not only speaking reading writing listening and watching videos are helpful this is only mm -hmm. the thing. do every day like this half an hour or one hour that's enough because you have yes, lots sir. of time you have lots of time time i may say you know so you can recover and uh, you know already your english is very good you are very good yes, at english yeah that's enough this is not a big deal everyone can achieve fluency but need a concentration and <coughs> learning a english it's not a piece of a cake sometime it takes time yes, if you yes. have passion if you have a passion and if you really want to achieve a fluency then it takes time usually it takes time normal english anyone can speak within 5 to 6 month anyone can learn but in order to enhance the mastery and if you want to be mighty in english language then it takes time be relax calm down work on work upon your skill every day that's it yes yes sir i want to ask you one more questions like a uh, um, how did you become a good um, good command of your english because you i can see you are you are a good speaker and you are um, giving to suggest uh, you are giving a suggest good suggestion for us like uh, hmm. for beginner then um, i want to ask yeah repeat your question one more time please if you don't mind okay um how like uh, um, i mean sir look at me look at me don't look at here and there make an eye contact be confident uh, okay you are speaking okay. why you are operating yes yes you are speaking very good english don't worry i'm not here to judge you we are here to converse we are here to uh, you know motivate each other relax enjoy the conversation come on yes yes so how like how did you um, how did you become a good fluency or your uh, on this language because you are a good speaker and you can give a suggest to, like a, for a beginners like uh, like me mm hmm so everyone like it's not me for everyone mm -hmm. did you I become have... mm -hmm. uh, did uh, did you uh, did you become any challenges uh, when you uh, you were practicing or you are practicing this uh, practicing uh, this language and english language did you face any challenges when you were learning or during the entire of this year did you face any challenges you should say okay i well i have faced lots of challenges and still i am facing challenges you know i have been learning english over the last 10 year or maybe more i don't know exactly and i have been helping a people over the last four year maybe and while helping people i learned this language 
and still i do not consider myself that yeah i am the master i know everything no i consider myself that i am a learner i'm still learning i learn every day new thing i read every day one hour two hour and i try to grab something new from the books so the conclusion is if he or she wants to enhance or wants to grab the fantastic uh, you know uh, hold uh, on your uh, like on a language on a particular subject then you read read what i found that reading is the best way to enhance your knowledge as well as your uh, hold over english language this is my personal belief so as you are a student you read something new especially in english language so you will get the two benefit you are enhancing your knowledge and the second benefit that your your vocabulary your grammar is enhancing you are increasing you are building your vocabulary you know you are building your vocabulary on english so read that's it read that's it then <coughs> madam manisha reddy i think it's time to move on i got to go i have another one meeting you allow me to leave do you have do you have i do not i don't think so that do you have any more question so uh, uh no 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 it's okay. okay then take care yourself we'll see you if you need my help you may contact me again and uh, yes, do you allow me to post our conversation so people could learn something from you and from me we could we could yes, motivate yes. Why, people why not sir Yeah, why not sir because i am a subscriber i am on your subscriber i like your videos and how you uh, how you are expressing uh, means um, you are uh, you do a lot of things and you are doing a lot of efforts so many like a uh, so many tutors or so many mentors but i mm. see you are like a um, you are facing smiles there are so many students there are so many youngsters are inspiring to you your journey Mm -hmm. and thank you thank you to owner like i like can i mean so i would like to connect again thank you thank you thank you very much take care take care bye see you take care sir have a nice day sir